Welcome to a lesson on graphing a line given a point and the slope. To understand how this works, let's review the definition of slope. Slope is equal to the ratio of the change in output to the change in input, or if we want the ratio of the change of y to the change of x. And because we find the outputs are y values along the vertical axis, and the inputs are x values along the horizontal axis, we can view the slope as the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change. So if we're given a point in the slope, after we plot the point, we can use the slope to determine the location of a second point. Where the top number of the slope of the numerator indicates the distance we should move up or down, and the bottom number of the denominator tells us the distance we should move left or right to find a second point on that line. As an example, this line here has a slope of two-fifths. If you were given this point here, because the slope is two-fifths, the two tells us to move up two units, and the five tells us to move right five units. So notice how from the given point here, if we move up two units and right five units, we do find a second point on the line. Once we find the second point, we can graph the line. But we can also view the slope of two-fifths as negative two over negative five, since a negative divided by a negative is positive. So if we use the slope in this form, we would go down two and left five. Notice how from the given point, if we go down two and left five, we still find a second point on the line. And this would be helpful, for example, if we use the slope one way and the second point is off the coordinate plane, we can always adjust the slope and use it a different way. In this example here, the slope is negative two. We always want the slope in fraction form, so we can write negative two in fraction form as negative two over one, which would tell us from the given point we would go down two and write one. So if this was the given point here, notice how if we go down two and write one, we do find a second point on the line. But we could also view negative two as positive two over negative one. In this form, we would go up two and left one. So if we go up two and left one, notice how we still find another point on the line. So at times, we may have to adjust the slope and use it a different way. Let's look at our examples. Here we're given the point negative two comma negative three, so we'll plot the given point first, so left two down three. The slope is positive one half, so because the top number is one and the bottom number is two, this tells us we should go up one and right two to find a second point on the line. So from the given point, if we go up one and right two, this point is on the line, and we can do this over and over if we wish. Let's go up one and right two again. This point is on the line, and up one, right two. This point is also on the line. Let's also use the slope in a different way. We could write positive one half as negative one over negative two. In this form, notice how, because the top number is negative one, we would go down one, and because we have a negative two in the denominator, we would go left two. So from the given point, if we go down one and left two, notice how this point is also on our line. So let's go ahead and graph our line. In our next example, we're given the point zero comma negative one. So it would be here on the vertical axis. The slope is negative two thirds. Let's first view negative two thirds as negative two over positive three. So in this form, because we have a negative two on top, we would go down two. And because we have a positive three on the bottom, we would go right three. So from the given point, we would go down two and right three. This point would be on our line. Let's also view negative two thirds as positive two over negative three. When the slope is in this form, this indicates we would go up two 
and left three. So starting from the given point, if we go up two and left three, this point would also be on our line. Let's go ahead and sketch our line. Next, we're given the point two comma one, so we'll write two up one. The slope is equal to three. We need the slope to be in fraction form. Let's first write three as three over one. So the slope in this form indicates we move up three and write one. So from the given point, if we go up three and write one, this point would be in our line. We can also view the slope as negative three over negative one, which would indicate that we would go down three and left one. So from the given point, which was this point here, if we go down three and left one, this point is also on our line. Let's go ahead and graph our line. Remember to graph these lines, you really only need two points, but it's always a good idea when graphing by hand to find several points to make a more accurate graph. Now these next two are a little bit different. We're given the point one comma negative four, so write one down four. Notice here the slope is equal to zero. So if we recognize that if the slope is zero we have a horizontal line, we can go ahead and sketch the line. But if we don't recognize this, we can go ahead and write zero as a fraction so we can have zero over any constant, let's say zero over two. Zero divided by two equals zero, so we can use this slope to help us find a second point. But in this case, because the top number or the numerator is zero, this tells us there's no movement up or down. And because the denominator is two, this tells us that we go right two units. So from the given point, if we don't go up or down and move right two units, our second point would be here. And notice how the line passing through these two points is a horizontal line. And for our last example, we're given the point five comma two, so right five up two. Here the slope is undefined. So again, if we recognize if a line has undefined slope, it's a vertical line, we can go ahead and sketch it. But if we don't, we want to think of a way to write a fraction that would be undefined. Remember, division by zero is undefined, so any constant divided by zero would be undefined. So let's write the slope as two divided by zero. With the slope in this form, the two tells us to go up two units and the denominator of zero indicates no movement left or right. So from the given point, if we go up two units and don't move left or right, this would be a second point on our line. And notice from here we can see it's going to be a vertical line. I hope you found this helpful.